Narrated by Abdullah bin Umar Umar bin al-Khattab saw a silken cloak, being sold, at the gate of the mosque and said to Allah's Apostle, I wish you would buy this to wear on Fridays and also on occasions of the arrivals of the delegations. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him replied, This will be worn by a person who will have no share, reward, in the hereafter. Later on similar cloaks were given to Allah's messenger peace be upon him and he gave one of them to Umar bin al-Khattab. On that Umar said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. You have given me this cloak although on the cloak of Adarid, a cloak merchant who was selling that silken cloak at the gate of the mosque, you passed such and such a remark. Allah's messenger peace be upon him replied, I have not given you this to wear. And so Umar bin al-Khattab gave it to his pagan brother in Mecca to wear. Narrated by Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, If I had not found it hard for my followers or the people, I would have ordered them to clean their teeth with sawak for every prayer. Narrated by Anas. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, I have told you repeatedly to use the sawak. The Prophet peace be upon him put emphasis on the use of the siwak. Narrated by Hud Haifa When the Prophet peace be upon him got up at night, for the night prayer, he used to clean his mouth. Narrated by Aisha Abdurrahman bin Abi Bakr came holding a siwak with which he was cleaning his teeth. Allah's Apostle looked at him. I requested Abdur Rahman to give the siwak to me and after he gave it to me I divided it, chewed it, and gave it to Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Then he cleaned his teeth with it and at that time he was resting against my chest. 